your meeting room, which is what they call it. So let me show you. I'm going to enter the meeting, and it's going to do some stuff that will start sharing my desktop. Now it's just, it just launched at full screen. I'm going to minimize this for you so you can see what's going on. You can also see that here is the URL that I would give to someone else to, to share my screen with them or have them share with me. You can't see what it is, but that's okay. So now I can share my computer screen and anybody else who goes to that URL is going to see my screen. Now, without actually sharing my screen, I want to show you some of the things that you can do here. You can start your webcam so you can share your webcam. Other users can also share their webcams with you. You can obviously chat, notes, there's a whole bunch of different options here. Now, the really cool thing about this is that you could do a webinar with it without having people, without people having to call into a different phone number because you can share your microphone. So, uh, I, I believe that the reason that Adobe does this and it's free is because they limit the number of people you can connect with to two or three and then they try and sell you uh, like a $700 a month thing to be able to connect to more people. So, very expensive to do more but, but it's free if you just want to use it for connecting to very few people. So, let me close this now and show you the next tool that I want to talk about, which is Crossloop. Now, Crossloop uh, is designed to make sharing your screen or somebody sharing their screen super simple, and their idea was to use it with tech support. So, let me tell you what I've used it for. Grandpa calls me and says, Microsoft Word is broken. Well, what's broken about it? Well, it doesn't work. Well, I'm sorry, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I can't help you with that. And I could go on for half an hour or an hour and not get anything done. Well, the most recent time he called me, I told him, okay, go to crossloop.com, which was a difficult in and of itself. Uh, install this. He got it installed. And all of a sudden, I could connect to his computer. And I fixed his problem, and it took me about 10 seconds, and we were done. So let me show you what Crossloop is using it for. They tell you search for experts, and you can pay them to help them help you. Well, here's a whole bunch of different things that you can help that you can either you can help other people with or they can help you with programming or web design or office or or whatever. Here's a super easy system for either offering your services or getting someone else to help you when you're stuck in your business. So here's how it works. You download Crossloop onto your computer. Open it up. Here it is. Now, if I want to access someone else's computer, I call them on the phone. I tell them to open up Crossloop. I tell them to click the Share tab. They give me this code over the phone. I put it into my access code. I tell them, click Connect while they're on the Share tab. I click Connect, and all of a sudden, I'm looking at their screen. And we could do the same thing in the opposite direction if I wanted them to look at mine. But I can look at their screen. It's the same as what we looked at earlier with Log Me In or, or a remote desktop or whatever. And I can fix their problems. So now you could do this and offer services to other people and fix their problems. Or you can get help this way. So very, very cool tool. Now I want to recap the tools that I've, I've shared with you. Four of them. Number one was remote desktop. And the reason I shared you remote desktop over... VNC was because it's installed everywhere. You can also use VNC as it's a very good alternative to remote desktop. One of the things that I use remote desktop for is I have given uh, some of my guys in the Philippines access to a couple different computers of mine. Uh, I have given them access to my home computer and saying, hey, here's this tool. I have it installed on my computer. I want you to use it. Do your work. Connect to my computer. See, they work at night here in the United States, so while I'm asleep, they're connected to my computer. Uh, I trust them, and they get their work done. Another thing I have is I have a central computer to connect to Google AdWords from. We, I don't want them connecting from their computer, so uh, I give them access to that computer. They use their remote desktop, and they connect to that computer. So those are a couple different uses for for how I've used remote desktop, and, and some of the other tools I talked about today might, might be a little bit more easy for you to use. I shared with you logmein.com which allows you to, from anywhere in the world, connect to any one of your computers through a browser. 
It's a it's a free alternative to go to mypc.com, which I think costs like thirty dollars a month. The next one was Adobe uh, Adobe Connect Now, which will let you share your screen and other things on your computer, your microphone, your webcam, with other people through the internet, uh, and let them do the same thing for you. Very good for coaching. And the last one that I shared was Crossloop.com, which allows you to easily connect to someone else's computer without them having to do very much. So, uh, I would be interested in hearing other things that you use to share screens and how you use them and, and interesting things that I didn't talk about, uh, about about screen sharing and sharing computers. Please, please post uh, things in the comments. And also, if you have questions about how this stuff works, post them in the comments and I'll answer whatever I can. Thank you.